the shortage of everything is making its way back into U.S. stores. Retailers left and right are facing empty shelves of key products and consumers are being forced to pay more for the items they need as demand continues to exceed supply. Conditions are getting so extreme that you may not find some summer favorites like ice cream, tequila, burgers and beer at your local supermarket in the coming months. While some staples are already nowhere to be found, others are still available but not for long. That's why today we've listed a bunch of products that are in short supply right now so you can make preparations for what is coming next. But before checking this list, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, here are 15 items that became impossible to find at retail stores. 1. Ice Cream One of our favorite treats may be sold out at supermarkets this summer. As with butter, the collapse in milk supplies is causing a noticeable drop in the production of ice cream. The industry is facing ingredients shortages, including scarce supplies of vanilla. Styrofoam cups and lids are also harder to find, which is further delaying the packaging process at plants and adding pressure on food retailers that already started to order for the next season. If you haven't yet, stock up on your favorite ice cream before it's too late. 2. Tequila you may not be able to enjoy margaritas and other cocktails made with tequila this summer. Agave, a succulent used in the production of the beverage, grows in six states in Mexico, with the largest producer being Jalisco. But extreme weather changes, including high temperatures, drought, and sudden deluges of rain, have damaged delicate agave plants. The past few years of unusual dryness have hurt the agave crops grown to produce tequila, and experts say there's no indication of this weather pattern changing anytime soon. The high temperatures have also become a growing concern for the Mexican long-nosed bat, a key pollinator species for the agave plant. Pollinators such as butterflies, bats, and bees around the world are experiencing enormous population declines, with potentially catastrophic implications for the plants they pollinate. You wouldn't have tequila if you had no bats because that's the only thing that pollinates the agave plant that makes tequila. Explains Ron McGill, the communications director and wildlife expert at Zoo Miami. Agave growers and tequila producers are concerned that the combination of weather changes, pollinator disruption, and the increasing desirability of premium tequila brands may make the rapid growth of the tequila market unsustainable and cause extensive tequila shortages as growing demand does not have the supply to meet it. 3. Dr. Pepper just as happened back in 2020, a shortage of Dr. Pepper is hitting major U.S. supermarkets. Disruptions in manufacturing plants caused by labor shortages and scarce ingredients are making this beloved soda branch ditch some of its flavors to focus on best-selling products this year. As reported by Eat This, Not That, the company acknowledged the situation in a tweet noting that it is committed to fixing the problem and now working to get its products back on grocery shelves. 4. Beef Of all the food shortages that are being reported in 2023, the beef shortage may be most felt by United States consumers, especially as barbecue season begins. Ranchers were forced to sharply reduce their cattle herds due to shortages of feed, soaring costs, and extreme weather. And although that increased the domestic meat supply in the short term, as months have gone by, inventories have started to look increasingly scarce. Producers say it will take quite a while before the situation stabilizes. It takes over 24 months for cattle herds to be rebuilt. And that is if external disruptions, such as drought and feed and water shortages, do not occur. If we're lucky, temperatures this summer will be milder, and this problem will be fixed by 2025. But if we aren't, we're talking about persistent shortages of meat dragging on for years and taking our beloved burgers and steaks away from our tables. 5. Farm-Grown Produce Farm-grown fruits and vegetables 
have been some of the biggest victims of the fertilizer shortage that erupted during the pandemic and exponentially worsened after the conflict between Russia and Ukraine broke out and the world lost two major producers of NPK. That stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the three primary ingredients plants need to grow. At the peak of the shortage, farmers were seeing fertilizer prices shooting up 700%. And that was right when planting season began. Consequently, many small producers that could not afford such exorbitant costs started abandoning their less profitable crops. Drought also played a major role during the summer of 2022. And now we're seeing the effects of this at the grocery store with produce aisles barer than normal. 6. Local Craft Beer The one thing many Americans are looking for this summer is some cold craft beer. Unfortunately, craft breweries were one of the many local businesses that were hit hard during the virus pandemic, and inflation, tighter credit conditions, and declining sales in recent years have led many of these companies to close their doors for good. According to Statista, those that remain open are reporting a 60% drop in their production, while 28% stop production entirely. If you have a favorite local brewery that's providing its products to your local grocery store, it's time to make sure to support that business, because soon that small company may disappear. 7. Mayonnaise, eggs, oil, lime juice, and vinegar a blended to create mayonnaise. It's a creamy thick sauce. It's a good source of essential vitamins, minerals, potassium, sodium, lipids, and carbohydrates. As a result, its intake is linked to several health advantages. This involves maintaining heart health, enhancing blood sugar levels, lowering inflammation, stimulating the growth of healthy hair, skin, and nails, and hydrating rough and chapped skin. But widespread egg shortages have had a knock-on effect on mayonnaise production. The problem is so rife, major manufacturer Hellman's announced it was discontinuing sales in many countries due to rising production costs. According to the Consumer Price Index, the cost of mayo has jumped by 18.2% in the last year. 8. Batteries Batteries have been in short supply for quite some time now, the global production of steel, zinc, manganese, potassium, and graphite, all components that make the alkaline batteries we find at our local stores, is still going down in 2023. The situation doesn't look any better for lithium or even solar-powered batteries, given that demand is significantly outstripping supply worldwide. On top of that, the cost of producing batteries went up by 156% since 2020, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. This means that not only are they getting harder to find, but prices are already climbing. Batteries are usually one of the first products to disappear during an emergency, so if your battery stash is running low, you should probably restock it now before inventories drop even further. Nine. Pharmaceuticals. After a triple demic left pharmacies all over the US without flu and pain medicine this winter, as well as empty shelves for ibuprofen, Tylenol, and amoxicillin, US consumers should expect to see more medicine shortages this summer, and that's according to the Food and Drug Administration. The problem is that common medicines provide very thin margins for pharmaceutical companies, leaving little incentive for producers to build up excess capacity or stock. On the other hand, consumer demand has held steady, and capacity is difficult and expensive to ramp up due to a lack of flexibility in the equipment and processes used to make these substances. There's not a short-term capacity answer for this. John Gray, a professor of operations with Ohio State University's Fisher College of Business, told Supply Chain Dive earlier this year. For millions of Americans, this isn't just an inconvenience, but a life-threatening situation. The FDA has been working for more than a decade to combat pharmaceutical shortages, but when the problem hits a global scale, 
There's only so much the agency can do to ensure reliable supplies. 10. Tinned fish With other protein sources facing price increases that range from 17 to 40 percent, demand for tinned fish is surging all over the country. But the industry of fishery and aquaculture in North America has seen the production of edible fish collapse by 64% since 2019, with a loss of over 900 million pounds of fish. All that is thanks to abnormally hot temperatures that have been disrupting fish reproduction and also decimating millions of aquatic animals. Tinned fish in particular has recently become very popular not only for its affordable prices, but TikTok videos that went viral as chefs shared recipes, transforming this humble protein into elaborate meals, according to Time. Big companies like Bumblebee, more commonly associated with canned tuna, are expanding their product lineup to try to meet the surging demand. But that can take several months, and for now, supplies at stores are still shrinking. Even famed investor and Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki took to social media to warn about an impending food crisis and advised the public to stock up on tuna cans. Robert Kiyosaki says the best investments are cans of tuna and baked beans. You can't eat gold, silver, or Bitcoin. You can eat cans of tuna and baked beans. Food is most important. Starvation next problem. Invest in the solution. Take care, he wrote. 11. Mustard While mayo and ketchup are America's first and second most popular condiments, mustard is a close third. That's what makes it such a shame that this spicy and tangy sauce is in short supply. USDA reports show that mustard farms were particularly impacted by the drought last summer, which resulted in lower production for a second consecutive year. This means that commercially produced mustard might not be able to make it onto your 4th of July hot dog. The outlook hasn't improved since 2022, with mustard seed production slashed both in the United States and Canada, and seed prices are skyrocketing. Even if you can find your favorite mustard brand on store shelves, it could cost you more than double the price you paid in 2021. But in case this condiment is an absolute must in your household and you see a bunch of your favorite mustard in the supermarket, don't forget to add some extra jars of bottles of mustard to your cart. 12. Chickpeas Vegans, vegetarians, and everyone who loves a good hummus is gonna miss this nutritious grain this year, given that chickpea production is way down thanks to the double punch of the Ukraine crisis and climate change. Both Russia and Ukraine are important chickpea producers, and the conflict has damaged their ability to export their products over the past 12 months. Volatile weather in the U.S. has wrecked the chickpea crop here as well. Fewer chickpeas are resulting in pricier hummus, and if you make it yourself, you might find the raw ingredients for this delicious spread to be up quite a bit in cost too. Modern Farmer notes that the humble chickpea is another victim of the food supply chain crisis, although this time it's on a global scale. 13. Honey 2023 is looking like one of the worst years for honeybees in nearly two decades, experts say. This past winter saw record losses for beekeepers, and one expert says the prospects for next year are even worse if they face another frigid winter. Beekeepers across the country have faced average losses of nearly 45%, with some bee farms seeing losses as high as 90%. Leonard Foster, a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology at the University of British Columbia, calls these losses shocking. The long-term historical average was maybe around 12 to 15 percent. Over the last probably 12 to 15 years, it actually rose to about 27 percent, so still very high, but 45 percent is a record and very hard to take. He told CTV's Your Morning on Friday. On top of an unseasonably cold winter, beekeepers have also had to deal with extreme heat waves 
as well as the proliferation of the varroa mite, a parasitic mite that feeds on honeybees. Certainly, these heat waves are not great for bees. They also tend to dry out the plants and make less nectar available for bees to forage on. So that reduced the honey crop, Foster said. That's why consumers are already dealing with less variety and surging costs. 14. Cranberry Juice Cranberries, which grow mainly in Wisconsin and Massachusetts in marshy fields called bogs, has had a string of low-yield years in a row. In 2022, cranberry farmers had to grapple with hailstorms, floods, and droughts, creating razor-thin margins and fresh cranberry shortages, as reported by Modern Farmer. The resulting cranberry output was close to 100 million pounds less than that of a typical year, which will continue to impact stock levels at supermarkets through the rest of 2023. 15. Fuel Those who fill in their tanks at their local store are likely to witness availability problems during the busy summer driving season. Refineries are operating at about 80% capacity, gas inventories remain lower than the historic average for this time of the year. We've all been feeling pain at the pump recently, with prices climbing to a five-month high and approaching a $4 per gallon mark again. In a couple of months, things could get exponentially worse as demand largely outstrips the available supply and stations run dry. Listen, don't wait until everyone starts rushing to the stores to get the supplies you need, because by then, it may be far too late. Make sure you store your products properly, especially if you're planning to stock up on fuel. During the summer months, supply and demand problems will become more acute, which means that many other items are also at risk of vanishing from sight. Pay attention to empty shelves the next time you go grocery shopping, so you know which shortage is getting worse and which products to purchase before things get even more complicated. Our struggling supply chains are still coping with one major challenge after the other, and this crisis may persist for longer than we're prepared for. So the time to restock our pantries is now. We hope you've found this useful and thank you for watching.